Welcome to Connect Youth Update for September. It's September. It's September. It is. It's your birthday. Shush. <laughs> That's broadcast for the world to hear, ladies and gentlemen. She keeps it here normally. I mean, it's September. It's the beginning of a new academic year. We are back with some, well, with a bumper load of things. So Don't we're going to we're gonna have to talk up. fast. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, fast, fast. Talk, talk, talk. Super quick. Yeah. We have a bumper load of stuff for you today. So we're going to... We're going to head on through this as quickly as possible. First things first, Instagram. We didn't create Instagram, but we have got two accounts now. We've got Clayton Central, which is aimed at young people. So get go and check it out. Get your young people connected. Content is for them. Um, it's to help them um, in their journey with God. And then we've launched recently a second one called Youth Work State of Mind. Um, and that is aimed at you beautiful people, you, our youth leaders, um, our clergy, our, our volunteers. Um, to encourage you to, to send your send you new stuff that's going on, let you know about training, and, and ultimately to start, start to develop a little bit of community um, around kind of youth work in our diocese and beyond. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely fab. Already you're putting up things and sharing uh, so many different content and awesome resources and great events that other people are putting on there. So if you want to keep up to date with all things youth and be able to have a, a chat with Ben as well, definitely go and check out that Instagram account that's Youth Work State of Mind. Uh, we have Abide One yet again here to remind you Abide One is still happening. It is going to happen whether that is through face-to-face uh, -face or digitally. Abide One will be happening. That's on the 6th of February. Uh, bookings are open uh, but before you are allowed to book on you'll have to register your interest so if you are thinking of bringing your youth group please go and register your interest first and then we can make sure that you are there in the booking form ready for your young people and yourself to book on and get things going with that one amazing um third up today um in the last 15 months we've been running prayer and worship nights um children youth work focused uh nights where we meet together to worship and pray that might sound really says what it does on the tin or it says on the tin what it does anyway there's an old advert around that anyway but we are actually using we kind of feel like god in this season has been talking to us about praying more um, and we know that in children youth work we have a tendency just to kind of go dive in and do something um, or at least sometimes we probably have a tendency to but we want to say stop but first pray and so we're launching a new uh, prayer sort of focus initiative on the 20th of October 2020. Um, you can join us for that. Um, that should be online that night and we're going to launch that. We're going to start to sort of let you know some more information as we go along. So stay connected on our social media and we'll let you know exactly what that looks like. But that might be opportunities to pray and to prayer walk around our areas on specific days and to connect um, on, on sort of live social media things as well. So we're trying to be really creative with how we pray and, and lifting our children and people up in prayer to God. And then we've got some amazing free training. That is free, free. two free incredible training events. First of all, we have got the Foundations training course, which is free uh, for children and young people's workers. And that's taking, that's happening over four Saturdays, one in October, one in November, one in January, and one in February. And as I say, these are free. All information can be found on our website and there will also be a link in the description stuff as well. And these will be happening. They'll be happening in person. Uh, and if we can't meet in person, then they'll be happening digitally. So if you would like some free training for children and people's work, then please go on our website, check it out and book on. It's going to be incredible. The second training is with <laughs> Youth Scape Essentials. <laughs> And they're over 10 Monday evenings. I keep getting my tongues tied, that's why Ben's giving me a thumbs up. They're over 10 Monday evenings between October and December. And again, they're completely free and it's very exciting. And more information can be found in the links as well. So go check them out because it's free and it's awesome. It's free and awesome. Free, free stuff. Hopefully that's an incentive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've got a whole load of other stuff for you to check out and we're going to point our fingers, but if we point them the same day, wait, it's a wee miracle.
The last thing to tell you about today is the National Day of Prayer for Schools. This is initiated by PAYS, um, but so many other people are getting on board with this. Basically, it's the 24th of September. We're going to be praying for schools. We're going to be praying for our children, our young people, their teachers, the governors, all the people involved, because this is just such a vital time. Um, we can tell you loads more about it. But click on the links um, next to here and you'll find out where there's prayer events going on, if there's a prayer walk near you. And if there isn't anything, why not run something? Instagram, we have got two accounts. As I say, we've got Clayton Central, where we're there to share all things faith related and fun with young people and help guiding them through walking with them through life and faith. And then we have got YouthWorks State of Mind, where we have all things youth related. And go on there for inspiration, for up-to-date news, for links out to other incredible youth work organisations to just really help you connect and grow in your work with young people. Unfortunately, you do get to see a little bit more event space, but it is worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Thanks, mate. Um, and that leaves us on a beautiful note to say thank you so much for watching. Um, if there's anything else you need to know about, do get in touch, um, youth at blackburn.anglican.org and we will do our best to answer your queries, come and help you in all those different ways. Otherwise, you guys are amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. God bless you. See you in October. Peace. Bye. Bye.